Hi everyone, today I'm going to go over taxes and tax groups in Optimum Control. When entering an invoice, there will be some items that you buy that are taxed, and in order to balance the invoice, you'll need to add those taxes into Optimum Control and then into the invoice. Depending on where you live, there may also be some items, usually liquor items, that are tax and deposit inclusive, where you need to pull the tax out of it to get an accurate cost. If you don't do this, the total cost of the item, tax and bottle deposit included, will be built into the cost of the item, and will go into the same account. In order for the cost of the deposit and tax to be separated into the correct accounts, and have the costing for your item correct, you'll need to have a tax group assigned to that to calculate the difference. The first thing we're going to need to do is create some taxes and adjustments. To do that, we're going to navigate to the settings, which is the gear icon at the top left, under setup, and then tax and adjustments. The next thing we're going to do is add a tax. So I already have a couple set up here, but what you would do is you'd click add at the top here and it'll give you a blank sheet here. From here you can fill in the information, so the code and the description, so basically just the name of the tax, so in this case it's GST and then goods and service tax, however this could just be a sales tax or a PST, whatever is applicable in your area. The next field here is going to be whether the tax is recoverable or not basically means do you get this money back so if this tax was assigned to an item it would not add to the cost of it because it doesn't actually go towards the cost of any of your products an example of something that might be recoverable would be either a tax that you get back or an adjustment like the bottle deposit if you are returning your bottles all of the information you're entering in your taxes can also be edited at a later time if you realize something has been entered incorrectly this would not retroactively change your invoice but it will correct them going forward the next field is going to be either percentage or value, depending on what you're entering. For taxes, it's likely going to be a percentage, whereas for a deposit, it's going to be value. And this is going to be whatever the, the cost of that adjustment or tax is. So in the case of a tax, we have 6% for GST. In the case for the bottle deposit, we have $2.40 for 24 bottles. After the value or percentage, we have the account field. So which account you want this tax or adjustment associated with. In both of these cases I have it set to GST for the GST or just a bottle deposit account for the bottle deposit. The last option is going to be for apply purchase amount to items and what that would do is if it's checked off and assigned to an item in a tax group it would say instead of going towards GST that's selected here it would go towards whatever the item account is set towards. Now that we have our tax and our bottle deposit set up, we can set up our tax group. Now again, this is mainly going to be for tax and uh, deposit inclusive pricing for your items. If your items don't have that, then generally speaking, you can just add the tax to an invoice. You don't need to worry about tax groups. Um, but for those tax inclusive items, we're going to create a tax group. So to do that, we're going to go into the tax groups window, and then we're going to click add. At the top, again, it's just going to add us for a group code and a description. So basically just the name of it. So I'm going to go 24 b and 24 bottle deposit whoops and then we're going to check off any taxes and adjustments that apply so in this case i'm going to say it's just provincial sales tax as well as the 24 bottle deposit once you have that entered we can click save the next thing we must do is assign this to an item so from the main menu we're going to go into the items window and then find the items we want to assign it to i'm just going to go into a generic beer item but this would be any uh, beers or liquor bottles that you want to assign this to from here, we'd go into the case size area here and then select the tax group we want to assign. In this case, it's 24 bottle deposit. It's then going to have this checkbox for price including tax. This is something you're going to want to check off seeing as this is for a price inclusive item. So when we check that off, it's going to say the purchase price is $48.55, but once we factor in the tax and uh, adjustments, it's going to go down to $46.15 as the actual cost. So once we save that, that's now in there. Now if you've already entered invoices for these items that should have the tax groups, it's not going to retroactively go back and fix the invoices. You need to go back into them and recalculate the taxes if you want them calculated correctly. For future invoices though, this will take effect. So we're going to put that in now. Now the first thing you need to do is make sure a certain setting in the uh, preferences is set up so that it's going to calculate the taxes properly. So to do that, we're going to go into the preferences and then under preferences, we're going to go into purchasing. And from here, there's a checkbox for show advanced tax adjustment fields in an invoice window. We'll want this checked off and save. Now, you'll only need to check this off one time. It's going to be a preference that saves itself going forward. Now that we have everything set up, we can enter an invoice with this item. So we're going to go into the invoice window, click new, then we're going to go into our supplier, and then add that item to the invoice. From here, if we say we bought one case for $48.55, we can see the tax groups assigned here. 
Now if we go to the Taxes and Adjustments tab, it's going to have it calculated out for what the PST is, as well as the 24 bottle deposit. We, once we confirm that this is correct from the invoice, we can enter it in on the amount and invoice line here. So it's 302 for the PST and 240 for the bottle deposit. Now that that's entered, if we go to the account balance tab, we can see it's split out between all the separate accounts and the total is correct. Now if these values don't match that were calculated out, you would have to go back and double check that your percentages and your values are correct for the taxes and adjustments that you've created. It is important to set up the tax groups for tax inclusive items to ensure the costs and accounting is correct for these items in order to get accurate reporting. But let's say you're uh, in one of the locations that doesn't have tax inclusive items and you just want to add a tax to an invoice, you can do that as well by just going into the tax and adjustments tab, clicking add, and then selecting whichever tax you want to add. And then from there you can add whatever the value is and it'll add it to the invoice. That's how you create taxes, adjustment, and tax groups for tax inclusive items. Thanks for watching.